The Quran is called Al Furqan. That which distinguishes between right and wrong, between truth and falsehood. If you had this book, you wouldn't be involved in same sex marriage. If you had this book, you would know what is morally acceptable to God and what God rejects, and you would know the gray area which the righteous should not wander into if you had this book. For this book is Al Furqan. If you had this book, it would be Al Vikr. The reminder or a source of eminence and glory to mankind. See, if you had the book and understood it more, we would be raised from ignominy to eminence with just a fair understanding. This book is called al mawiza the admonition. Because this book admonishes us on the things that are right and the things that are proper and the things that represent good manners, courtesy. This book, this book is called al hukum the judgment because in this book God delivers his decision against this and that and for this and that so when you know what is written in this book and better yet have an understanding you are armed with good judgment ishtihad mm -hmm. it is al hikmat the wisdom you can't be a fool and read this book and have even a fair understanding of it nobody will be able to make you a fool again with this book in your hands could it be that the enemy knows the value of this book and that's why it's hidden from the eyes and ears of the common people of America This book is Al Shifa, the healing. Look at all the diseases spiritually that afflict us and physical diseases, but the cure is in this book. Oh, we should pray, not for knowledge, but for understanding more understanding of this book al huda it is that which guides or makes one attain the goal it is called al nur the light here's a people that walk in darkness grows darkness to people what do you need we need the light, but not a book without a man. We need a light-giving sun that will illuminate for us the wisdom of the book. It is al haq It is the truth. Oh, brothers and sisters, this book belongs to you. Yes, sir.